Hey guys! Hey! And this is going to be me doing it all. Talking about last episode, last season, or just whatever. Game of Thrones. I have literally just watched it just now. Just now. I just have some food as well, sorry. Um, but yeah. I've just finished watching season 8, episode 6, I think. And yeah. So what do I think of the episode? I thought it was alright. I mean, it wasn't the greatest episode of the season, but I think it was alright. I mean, it was, you know. I mean, yeah. Was I surprised about what happened? Uh, yeah. I don't know. I was. I saw. I'm gonna be honest. I was on Tumblr the other day because I, I was in. I was in college, and I, I was just like, first recently, the only time I seem to go on Tumblr is when I'm in college. But anyway, um, I kept seeing spoilers and. You know, I probably should have gone on off as soon as I saw a spoiler, but I was just like, you know, I want to look on Tumblr, so, you know. So I did see some spoilers, but when I, but, I don't know, I, for some reason I can still, I can still, when I still find spoilers, I can still watch the show, you know, because I don't really know how it, how it happens. You get what I'm saying? So yeah, I mean, basically it's the spoilers. Spoilers, guys. If you're going to watch this, it's going to be spoilers. So yeah, I mean, I didn't really expect Bran to be there. For him to be the um, king, so that's quite you know. But I actually think he does make a good king because he does know all these stories and he's, he he knows a lot of information. And since he doesn't want to be king, he's gonna do what I don't know. I just think he's not like biased or anything. Like he's like <laughs> it's like a computer. Like he will just do what's logical, but more than logical, more than a computer. But he'll think do what's logical and do what's best for everyone. Because I don't think he, there's nothing in it for him. So I think he would actually, he actually makes sense to be the king. You know, he's quite an unexpected king because he's just like, so random, in my opinion, to be king. But I mean, I think it's, for him, I think he, he, he could, he I don't think he would get power hungry. You never know though. <laughs> you never know, but I don't think he would get power hungry. But I mean, it, it could, he could be good. And the fact that they've changed it now, so like, it's people's, it's more like, um, it's not, birthright it gets picked and I think that's actually a great great way to do it because it's it allows the person for just I think it's just more likely to get someone who's for a better person to be king or queen to be the you know ruler obviously it's not perfect because you think down the line like something could happen and like they could be like the people who are choosing could all be bad people so you know what I'm saying? So there could be some problems, but for now it seems... I mean, for now it seems like it's... It just seems like it... Okay, you know all the stuff, bad stuff that happened. The end then seemed pretty happy, to be fair. Like, everything just seemed to fit into place. That's in my opinion. I mean, I'm going to be honest, I do think the death of Danny was a bit... It was a bit... It, I'm going to be honest, it, I do, it was a bit rushed, to be honest, because it was just like... You know. But... Yeah, she just was gone suddenly, and then like, you know. So I guess they probably did wish, wish it a bit like this episode in my opinion. But yeah, but I guess I don't know. If they probably didn't want to go on for too long. I don't know. They probably like, they probably had enough themselves of it. Like I see people complaining saying, "Oh yeah, we want another season," and they don't like it. But maybe they just. I'm gonna be honest. And they said it was a bit rushed, but I think honestly they've probably just been doing it for quite a long time and they probably just want a break, you know? So, you know what I mean? Which fair enough, because I mean, I'm, I don't, I don't like the show, so, <laughs> I don't like the show, so I mean, I just watch it and it's easy to watch it. Basically, I think some people are complaining, but at the end of the day, it is much easier to watch something and complain about it, you know what I mean, than do something. To make it something, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? Things I'm, you know, I've never quit a show, so I'm not, you know, so, but anyway. Anyway. But yeah, so I think it was a bit worse, but I, I think it was alright episode. I mean, I think the, it wasn't as good as sort of like episode five. I loved episode five. That episode was great. That episode was like, oh my god, like, even though Danny went a bit mad, but like, she went mad, okay. And she went like a bit, like, not very nice, but like, I don't know, I just found it really entertaining because like, everything was just happening and she was just burning cities down it's like dramatic you know dramatic <laughs> it's quite fun to watch dramatic stuff basically 
so I've edited like the episode oh my god it's just gone off but yeah just stopping it from going off because I'm going to watch the under this is vibe it's finally coming up it's probably coming up so far you know but yeah I really did um yeah so I mean and I think everything went out to place I mean like I'm glad that John Drew had the the freeling exam I forgot what it was but I can't with them he seems alright with them and um to be honest, another thing, thing, and Sansa is the queen of the north, which uh, yeah, she she wanted it, you know, so why not give it her? And I was just like gone off to do it. A thing, I mean, it is sad about Den Denny's. I think it was a bit sad how she went because when you get used to a character, so like you don't really want them to to die. And I don't know, even when she did all those things, I still sort of felt for her because. She went to her still wanted John and I sort of still felt for her because in her eyes she's not the villain, even though she's the villain. But in her eyes she isn't and that makes me feel for her because she didn't set out to be bad. She didn't set out and that's the thing with Danny that she's done she has done bad and we know I don't think she's I think she has got a darkness inside of her. There's no denying that, but I think she's not one of those people who go out with the intention, their intention is just to make the world a worse place. They just want, they're just bad, and they, they're all bad all together. She had the intention to be good, you know, and I do believe that she still had that intention. So part of me did feel for her because it, I don't know, it's, you know, part, part of me did feel for her on that, even though she did all those things. But I guess it's the next episode, and once it's been like a week, <laughs> it doesn't seem as bad, you know what I mean? When you're watching it, her do all those things, you're like, fuck. Mm. Well, um, a week later, I mean, you've had done my thing and uh, lived my life, then, you know, come back and watch it and it doesn't seem that bad because it's just not just happened. But obviously it's a TV show, so, I mean, if that happened actually in real life, I don't think I'll be feeling sorry for the person who did it. I don't think I was there, like, they probably didn't mean to do that. I mean, you know, probably didn't mean, I wouldn't be, but because it's a TV show, it's, it's a TV show, yeah. And we did get, like, I don't know, the, she's still a character that I like. You know, she's still a character that I like, and at the end of the day. I'm going to be honest, like, Cersei, I didn't actually dislike her. So, even though she's a bad guy, and... I mean, her death, a lot of people didn't like her death because it was just very, like... Like, it was very, like... Like, I think people wanted her to have much more, like, a... I guess more of a... More pain, painful death? I don't know. Like, they wanted a bit more, like, someone to kill her with more dramatic death, and she just got killed by, like, rubbles. You know what, me personally, I actually thought I liked the death scene because it was like, to me, it was like, she's such a dramatic person, she, she wants everything, she has to do everything her way, like, you know, everything has to be done to her standard and up high there, everything has to be done dramatic, but for her death to just be like any other death, for no one to have the kill of, for just her to just get hit by rocks, like, it seems like, to me, it's like, well... Yeah, she she didn't even get the dramatic death. She, like, if she, I feel like if she's the sort of person if she wanted to die. She would want to die dramatically, but like she didn't even. She just died how everyone else died, which, in a sense, I mean, obviously death is death. You know, like you dead, you dead. Whatever way you die, you still die. I mean, you know, that's you know. I mean, it's just, <laughs> I mean, it's not a, what I'm saying. Like you dead, you dead. It's you just don't want that to happen in the first place. So, I mean, whatever way that goes, you you don't want it to happen. But yeah, so I think. Like, yeah, I kind of like the death because it was just, I don't know, it was simple, but at the same time, like, it just, like, bricks, you know, you know, it's just, like, okay. and it, I know it was funny because I was watching, um, uh, Twitter, not watching Twitter, I wasn't watching, I was watching Twitter, I was on Twitter, basically, scrolling, and there's, um, there's, um, kind of Natasha Lowe, and she watched my phone, and she put, like, she was, like, I think she was laughing how, like, the ending of it, because, like, those two were incest, and the end of they just died in that way. And, and when you think about it, it's a bit weird. But I mean, when I was watching it, I didn't really think it was that weird. But I think, honestly, a game of phones makes you feel... Like, it just makes you accept all these incest. Like, it doesn't faze me, you know? You start you start to, like, you know, you start to ship it, you know? <laughs> Not that I ship Cersei and Jamie, but you know what? To be honest, I'm kind of glad they got died together because, in a way, it was sort of sad but I mean a sad love story like Romeo and Julia but I mean a bit weird a bit weird you know because if I were to do that in my own life to 
just no just no but I think I think I've separated myself from how weird it is because it's not I'm not actually doing it myself I'm just not actually just whack so it's kind of easy to separate yourself anyway I'm gonna go now because I'm gonna watch 200 and stuff and yeah and I've got some other channel another video as well so like yeah I've got like a do that ghost and I get my sister to I'm gonna do like a thing right so yeah anyway I'm gonna go watch this anyway so I don't want to be now anyway thank you for watching tell me what you think in the comments below anyway thank you for watching and thank you Game of Thrones it's a great show it's a great show Game of Thrones honestly I didn't expect to get so into it and I did because yeah it's entertaining it's a great show great show anyway thank you for watching have a nice day that's like big up